and so let's say that's the final product and now we what we want to do is to show how the um, lights turns off and on as a GIF for example and we can say that you know from here standard and then we want to do onto this one and then this one that's the transition that we want to do so let's say or to simplify it for example this one and then with the lights on so basically what we want to do is you know, we can screenshot we can render let's say if the rendering takes long um, It rendered a final outcome, okay. Oh, because we have the pseudo control color. Mm, it will render the thing. So maybe for a quick example, we'll screenshot this. And screenshot this view so because we want to do a GIF and a transition so it has to stay in the same position and same place so that the transition will smooth so after that screenshot um, when we want to go to Photoshop and I have opened the file, the screenshot file that I have did and saved. And that's the transition that we want to do. Basically, so you can go to the new file that I have because this one I have set a particular size that I want to do um, you can do this with centimeters and stuff um, but don't make it too big because the bigger the size is yes the more quality it will be and the more um, so it's like pixel based for example so bigger size bigger quality but also bigger file and slower uh, processing so this is enough and we want to put this for example here first and we'll accept that so let's rename this one to so Put it here. So you can select the spot and zoom in, for example, I'm too lazy. Right? And uh, we want to hide that a little. Go to eyedropper tool. Set the cord. And go to here and copy that. To copy is Alt and drag. So in 3ds Max is Shift. Um, in other like Rhino. Uh, Photoshop Illustrator Derby is Alt. So we have that.
we notice that this color is different so we can what we can do is duplicate this put this on after one and we can merge this layer click right and merge layers and that's the uh, number two now so let's hide this first and we can copy this and change the color can so delete this as well and copy this side and select it by clicking shift and select click right merge layers and that's your number one so let's say we don't need this anymore so this is the layers and transition that um, you want to do. Notice that I I'm keeping this simple as simple as possible because the more cleaner layers you have um, the more easier it gets to do this so if you have this ready to go and this is what you want to do the transition so you can go to to have this timeline you go to window and you go to timeline and notice this one is ticked so because I have this so to start off you want to click this create frame animation and you ha if you have the different thing that the not the picture frame instead the video frame timeline you can click this bottom left corner you can get that this one is easier and because this one is on the top so that's why this one is created in this frame so what you want to do is hide this so this one is first and then what you want to do make frames from layers so the second one it will automatically sort of have that so for example let's say if I delete all of this um, let's say duplicate layers let's say I have a lot of that right um, and I've made frame animation let's say that's the one it's hidden and this is the first this will be a second, third, fourth, and so on. So what you can do is go here, go make frames from layers, and that will automatically do all of it for you. See the fourth one, this is the fourth one. And what you can do is change this, the time, so for example 0 0.5, and if you want all of that, select all, 0 0.5 as well, and then you can put this as forever, so as a loop, so you can try to play that so our, because it's all the same we only need two so delete it so 0 0.5 and we go to file now good to go for export go to export save for web see how quick it is to it is downloading and it's gif gif um, and also the thing that you want to pay attention to is this color needs to be in RGB so it, it can be exported so click save and save the file that you want to uh, and save untitle and this is the gif that you have created and it will continually automatically um, changes the frame in a closed loop because you've set it as a forever and 
that's it on how to create uh, a GIF and create a um, map the light and create a GIF if you wanted to as an analysis in 3ds Max. Thank you and see you in the next video.